Hey guys and guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to improve your camera resolution for um, the camera on your Raspberry Pi uh, for use with Octoprint and producing time lapses in Octolapse. So take your SD card out of your Raspberry Pi, your micro SD card, and pop it into your PC. Okay, do not format it. If it asks you to format it, just click cancel open file explorer and navigate to uh, your SD drive so you want to stay in the boot the main top directory and scroll down and find uh, octopi.txt right click and edit with notepad plus plus now you can edit uh, several different things in here for different cameras so if you want to edit it for say a Logitech camera or something like that you want to change where it says USB camera USB options here you can change the resolution here from 640 by 480 make sure you take the hash out which represents a comment um, but for me I'm using the Raspberry Pi camera so I'm going to come down here to where it says, uh, where are we? Uh, camera Raspberry options. Okay. And underneath this line here, I'm going to put this in. So camera underscore Raspberry underscore options equals uh, quotation marks dash X space 1280 space dash Y space 720 dash FPS 20. And that will give me a reasonably uh, smooth um, time lapse uh, with much higher quality. You could probably push this to maybe 25 frames a second. Um, I'm going to try it with 20 and see what I get. So all you need to do is save that. Pop the SD card, micro SD card back into your Raspberry Pi. Restart your Raspberry Pi and we'll boot into um, Octoprint. Okay, so we're now into um, Octoprint and we are going to make sure we're connected to the printer and we are going to print um, a file. Okay, so that's going to start heating up and print and then we can have a look once we've got some Octolapse data to see what the quality is. Okay, so we've hit temperature and we've started printing. So we can see here it's uh, printing away. If we go to Octolapse, um, we've got a little preview of our time lapse. It's only taken one snapshot at the moment. Um, but what we can do is we can leave this running. And what we'll do is I'll come back and I will show you the final result and the improvement in quality compared to our original. So, um, yeah, the original time lapse I took was in the previous video, but I'll show you the before and after results so as you get a good idea of the improvement this makes. So because the Pi camera uses a uh, fixed focal length, I'm getting quite a lot of blur on the actual print. You can't see it. So I'm going to try with a different camera. Okay, so I have uh, repositioned the hue in front of the uh, printer so you can see in the photo how I've got it set up. I've gone into the uh, octopi.txt file and changed the settings for the USB um, camera. So it's 1280 by 720 and um, what follows in a minute will be the final output. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I think it works really well. 
Uh, I would like to sort out the Pi camera, so if you know how to focus that, please comment below. Otherwise, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.